when I saw it, I only have one chance to see it from the front. I only was the first act. And when the orchestra started to play and all the, you know, curtain goes up and all the scenery, the, the smoke, the ambience, the, you know, everything, you know, how well they put together and then you see like this, this shadow you know, over an arch, you know, with red and stuff like that. It really creeps you out a little bit. Performing Dracula, uh, I mean, it's just the, the, the feeling of it, you know, what represents the ballet, you know. I mean, you're practically the man of the show. And uh, it, has, it has to have a lot of intensity. You know, you can uh, relax in any moment because that makes you weaker, especially, you know, many I, many acts where you have 18 brides running around the stage, I mean, and you are there, I mean, you're supposed to be the one orchestrating everything. It's 23 foot long cave when it's totally open, and uh, I don't know how heavy it is, but I can tell you that when I'm done sometimes with the cave, my arms are shaking and I see the girls coming and I don't want to see the girls anymore because, you know, my arms are already hurting. Oh, he's fun. Yeah, I mean, he's one of these choreographers where he cares a lot about the acting instead of the, you know, a technically part of it, you know. He came, I mean, everybody was very excited because, I mean, uh, we were doing his Dracula and everybody wanted to be, you know, powerful and doing well and doing everything clean and stuff like that. And the only thing he just pointed out is the acting part, you know, how the brides, how they have to be, how Dracula has to be, how uh, Frederick and, and Slavana has to be, and Flora, you know, everything it was part of of the ballet, you know, I mean, the, you know, the people around, when they have to react, when they don't, you know, it's, it's, it's just a, he was always say, you know, it's a, it's a story, you have to tell the story, and doesn't matter you're in front on the back, or, you know, you're just bringing cups of beer practically to the guys in the second act, you have to be in character, you have to be, you know, so that's what makes it believable, and that's one of the things I like to, to work with him. How the, the ballet develops is it gets better and better and better and you see just, just high energy people running around, you know, uh, scary moments, you know, I mean, you know, it's, it's everything, it's practically a, you know, like the Phantom of the Opera style, you know, where, where it's so intense and, and the music and, and the, the dancers and the dancing, everything, you know, is so that, you know, it's like, a, we have it here, you know, we have it in Tulsa.